Greater Intimacy with God, Daily Devotional for Tuesday, October 13th, 2020. And the verse comes from 1 John 4:18, New King James. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love. No Fear is the title of today's devotion. The United States has had more cases of extreme mental disorder per capita than any other nation. Statistics reveal that one out of every 20 Americans can expect to be institutionalized for mental illness, and one family in five will be touched by mental disorder. Those who have spent their lives trying to determine the reason for these frightening statistics say the most frequent cause of mental illness is fear. Apparently, many Americans are terrified. All fear is not bad. One kind of fear motivates us, keeping us from jumping off buildings and burning ourselves to death. This fear, which keeps us physically and spiritually healthy, is the fear that motivated Noah to build the ark. It is the fear of the Lord. However, another kind of fear seeks to dominate us, and it is destructive. It literally drives men crazy, tormenting them and making them live in constant dread. This fear takes a heavy toll in heart attack victims, suicides, and alcoholics. It must be conquered if man is to know peace. As always, the answer to this problem is found in God through his word. John said the antidote for fear is perfect love. As we learn to love Christ more and more, we actualize that love in our relationships with people. And fear is crowded from our lives because perfect love casts out fear. Even some believers have not yet learned to live without fear. John patiently tells us, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love. As we continue to gain intimacy with our Lord, his love begins to cast out persistent and destructive fears, replacing them with the reverent, holy fear of an almighty and everlasting God. Pray with me. The spirit of fear is cast out by your perfect love, O Lord. May we ever abide in your presence, Father, in reverent, holy fear of your awesome, almighty strength and power. Once, for every day of the year, 365 times, your word admonishes us to fear not. Though we may travel through the valley of the shadow of death, we need not fear, for you are with us. Your rod of discipline and your staff of guidance gives us comfort and protection from evil. As we are made perfect in your love, you shower us with goodness and mercy all the days of our lives, and we will forever dwell in your house, giving you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, and the links are there if you want to check that out. And there's a link for some music, Christine DeMarco, Fear Not. That's a good song. Give that a listen. So give us a thumbs up and click subscribe and share with a friend. All right, leave a comment, question, prayer request. Always glad to hear from you. Always glad for your prayers and support. So have a good day. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.